Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I am talking to you about what's in my Dior saddlebag. And I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time and I've been so excited to do this because I've had this for actually over a year now and I have been loving it. So let's just get right into the video. So um, this is an old one. This is not one of the new collections. I don't know what the difference is. But it's that typical, you know, carry Sex in the City saddlebag and it's got silver hardware and it is actually a navy blue um, but can look black as well. So it's kind of, it's, it's kind of hard to tell because, no wait, I think it's actually black but it can look navy um, and I absolutely love it. I thought it was going to be quite an awkward handbag just based on the shape and um, everything but it's just it's fit everything and it's actually allowed me to downsize in a really nice way so the back has a sort of a magnetic popper but I leave it open and I can fit my iPhone 8 plus in it so that just sits there really nicely and so when I'm wearing it I know that my my phone is like right on my person and I don't feel like it can you know uh, fall out or and I don't have any issues with it and then when you open it, there's a Velcro strap. So it looks like two straps, but it's just this pull here. And when you open it, it is that shape. But if you can see, it's kind of like bifolded. So it does stretch out a lot and it has a little zipper inside as well. So in the main, um, in the main compartment, I have some random things dotted around. So I have the Peter Thomas Roth this is a mega rich body lotion that I got from a hotel and I've been using it as a hand cream. Um, what I'm wearing today, my first ever Tom Ford lipstick and I got this because of Lisa Lisa D1. Um, she bought the 01 Spanish Pink and it's funny because me and her, even though we're completely different in terms of she's beautifully blonde and gorgeous eyes and I'm brown hair, brown eyes, we have the same color skin tone and foundation and generally her lipstick choices complement my skin and coloring too and this is what it looks like and I am absolutely obsessed and I never thought I'd spend so much money on a lipstick but then in reality I probably do you know anyway or what's you know I don't know I'm not even going to justify it but it's taken me this long to buy a Tom Ford lipstick and I love it it is so soft it is quite a nudie pink and actually when I put the lip liner on, I think I use, yeah, this one. This is my favorite one. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish and it's actually in cappuccino. And when I put that on, like a little bit over, it really plumps my lips and it just like makes them look quite big because it's like more defined. So I really, really like that combo. And then... I've got a receipt and this receipt is for Chick-fil-A and then I've got my university ID which is like it's called a splash card, Tulane splash card and then um, I went and got my nails done and I did a gel dip so and I chose the nude and I really like it she did a very beautiful job so um, I'm trying that out to see and then I have a, a business card from an uber driver and then in the little compartment here it's just a zip with this a CD pull don't know if you can see that um, yeah there you go which is really nice and long I like that I have a mulberry card case and you would have seen this in uh, one of my hauls recently I just really love this color so um, I have just like my Sephora card and my Chase card, my driver's license and stuff like that. And in the middle here, I've been keeping my um, apartment key because I haven't bought a keyring yet. I'm really not sure what sort of keyring I'm looking for. And plus I have so many at home that I just did not think about bringing. But I wanted something that would work with my lanyard, uh, like to put like a, maybe like a lanyard or something. But I'm not sure. And that's all I have, I think. Or I should have technically a perfume in here. Oh, yeah, I do. So I love this burrito. Um, oh, my God. I'm obsessed with burrito. And I'm so late on that. And Mojave Ghost is probably my favorite one. And I, when I spray it, so 
you know, a little bit of a personal update. I went on a date last week and it was so nice. And I, I just didn't think I would find someone so soon that was really like a joy to be with. And so he's asked me on a second date, uh, which will be the Friday coming. But now every time I smell this, this smells like our date or my date um, or what I smell like when I go out at night. And it's so amazing. And I got complimented on this too. It's so, it's so hmm, feminine and fiery and warm and lingers so, so well. Like, especially if you put it right here, like you can smell it throughout the whole night and you just, you just smell so pretty and grown up. So that reminds me kind of of this person at the moment, which is a good thing, but also a bad thing because I tie sense with certain situations and times in my life. So even if it's a good memory or a bad memory, I don't like smelling them again to bring me back. So nostalgic, so drama. But anyway, so that is all that's in my bag. But I wanted to do like a quick haul for you guys as well because, you know, being a student and going on a date or so, um, I bought some things. So I went to Francesca's, I got this cute little tote. Um, and I actually bought some funny things. So I couldn't help it. I love llamas. I don't know if you know that about me, but I love llamas. And this was like a little toothbrush cap and I just, it was just too, too cute. So I had to buy that. And then I bought, um, what's the other thing? I bought these, uh, it's got like a little unicorn and it's called magic pills. And I just thought that was hilarious. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna put paracetamol and Tylenol in my little Dior bag. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was very sweet. And then, so for the date, I'm thinking of wearing blue jeans, um, these new look shoes that I have that are like nude strappy sandals. And then I bought this top because it doesn't look like too try hard. Um, and I can wear it again, obviously, but it's quite suited, like, it suits like for going out like to like a bar or something, I think, but let me know. I might do like an outfit of the day thing and show you. So it looks like this, and I'm normally an extra small in Francesca's. Um, and it's that sort of like really like, su not suede, but like silky soft material. That's like a sort of twist back at the back. It's quite open, but it doesn't, it's not open when you wear it. Um, and then yeah, it kind of like folds and drapes in the front and has a cinched waist. So I thought it was like not too try hard and surprisingly this is very, it covers really nicely but it also gives you a really nice shape. And then obviously with the waist it just like tucks in and flares. So I thought, you know, this was still quite, you know, dressy because of the color and like wearing it with jeans. So I've made an effort but not like totally went out. But then these really like, I think, do the outfit. So I'm not gonna wear a necklace and I'm not gonna wear all these bracelets, but I'm just gonna wear these earrings. And they look like this. And I've been wanting tassel earrings for the longest time, but I've just not found a really nice tassel. And I love this sort of like blush, sort of mauvey color. And this was $18 and it goes perfectly with this top. Like I saw it and I was like, why aren't these two together? Like that looks perfect. So yeah, and I'll probably just curl my hair, but um, I'm sure I'll give you like a little outfit of the day. But how cute is that? I really, really like it. I just, I love these tassels. They're done really, really perfectly and they're not frayed and they're really soft and I love this gold and yeah, I just thought, I mean, that's just like the color, right? So I'm really happy with that. And then I went to Ulta and in Ulta, I bought um, nail polish removing pads. I just bought the Ulta Beauty ones, lavender scented. And then I bought another beauty blender. And then I bought this Insta Dry by Sally Hansen in Buff and Tumble 203. And I'm gonna paint this on my toes because I'm really into like nude toes and nude nails. And I just thought that would look nice with the open toe sandals I've got. And then I'm gonna try this, which is hilarious because normally when I come to America in the summer, I um, I just tan by just being outside and you know like bathing and all this stuff. But I don't have anywhere like that in New Orleans to go. 
and um, I'm just not feeling myself being this color. Like, it's because of my keratosis as well. You know, like you can see, like it's not like quite gone. It, I need the sun. Um, and so I've just not been feeling like wearing like really nice summer clothes um, because my skin is not naturally glowy and I don't feel confident enough. So I was just gonna do like a body lotion and just w with the natural self tanner, kind of like the one I have at home. But I saw this instant sun Jergens deep bronze sunless tanning mousse and dries in 60 seconds. Gosh, I really hope this works. I didn't buy a mitt, um, so I probably will stain, but I hope I can just put this on flawlessly all over my body. I'm not sure. I thought I'd give it a go. So if you want an update, um, you know, I can do that. And then I went to Victoria's Secret and they had bras for $35 and three panties and you get three free. And I won't show you those just because, I don't know. I always debate about those things, but I'll show you um, my pajamas I bought. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them, but I think the pricing is good. They, they were in sale, though I don't know how much this one is. It was $28, but it, it was not sale. It's like these little polka dot ones with ruffles in the front. And then the top is really cute, so much so that I feel like you could totally wear this out. This was $19. And again, it was about $28, so maybe they were both 19 But it's like this off-the-shoulder um, polka dotty thing too. And it's like nice and silky and breathable. And I don't know, I thought, I thought it would be quite nice. And I like this because it has like the bra strap so you can adjust it. Um, but I thought this was like kind of like a nice summer silky PJ to wear. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. So... I really hope you enjoyed the what's in my bag. I really hope you enjoyed this little mini haul as well. And I will talk to you soon. Take care, guys.